Okay, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Megan Glenn, and I'm the National Director of Programs at the American Liver Foundation. Thank you for joining us on today's program. We are ready to get started, and it is my pleasure to turn the meeting over to the chair of the American Liver Foundation's Board of Directors, Dan Weil. Thank you, Megan, and good evening or good afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased to join you as the National Board Chair of the American Liver Foundation. My wife, Liz, has been battling a liver disease for over 20 years, and we are both so grateful for the advances made in liver clinical care and liver disease research, all of which, of course, would not have been possible without everybody on this call. So thank you. It is a great pleasure to recognize the winner of the 2021 Distinguished Scientific Achievement Award this evening, as well as to acknowledge the American, liver, the American Association for the Study of Liver Disease, ASLD, for their extremely important contributions in the fight against liver disease. Thank you for taking the time to be a part of our virtual reception this evening. I'd like to introduce ALF's Chief Executive Officer, Lorraine Steele. Lorraine was named CEO of the American Liver Foundation in January of this year. And in the short period of time that she has been with the organization, she's made quite an outstanding impact. From pivoting during the pand pandemic to leading the organization's restructure with a focus on public awareness, advocacy, and patient ed education, we are lucky to have Lorraine as the leader of ALF. I will now turn the meeting over to Lorraine. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. And we sure appreciate your leadership and, and your whole family's leadership at the American Liver Foundation. So it is a pleasure to meet all of you, even if it is virtually. We had hoped that we would all be meeting together in person, but that wasn't in the cards. But uh, hopefully next year we'll be all together we are grateful to AASLD for bringing together such a distinguished group of dedicated medical professionals and patient advocate leaders for the 2021 liver meeting. The American Liver Foundation has been the trusted voice for liver patients and their families for decades, and we're proud to be celebrating our 45th anniversary. As you may know, ALF's mission is to promote education, advocacy, support services, and research for the prevention, treatment, and cure of liver disease. Even with the challenges of the pandemic, the American Liver Foundation remains strong in our support of patients. We're also very proud to be able to continue our legacy of recognizing exemplary research leadership in the liver community. I'm now like to introduce Dr. Tamar Taddy, a dedicated leader of our National Medical Advisory Committee. Dr. Taddy is an associate professor in the Department of Medicine, section of digestive diseases at Yale University School of Medicine. Her clinical interests include general and transplant hepatology. Her clinical and research focus is on liver cancer. She directs the liver cancer program at the VA Connecticut Healthcare System and co-directs the VA Connecticut Healthcare System Patient Safety Center of Inquiry and Cancer Care Coordination. Dr. Teddy has been recognized with teaching awards for her commitment and dedication to the education of medical students, residents, and fellows. She's an associate director of the Medical Scientist Training Program at Yale. It is my pleasure to turn over the meeting to Tamar. Thank you, Lorraine. Um, I'm just gonna share some slides here to get started. Hopefully you guys can see my screen. I'll take a nod from somebody. All right. Okay. So I actually have to scroll way up because this is not working the way I wanted it to. So let's start right here. 
So it's a great honor for me to introduce Professor Guadalupe Garcia Sao as the recipient of the American Liver Foundation's Distinguished Scientific Achievement Award. Dr. Garcia Sao is Professor of Medicine at Yale, Director of the Clinical and Translational Corps at the NIH-funded Yale Liver Center, and Chief of GI at the Veterans Affairs Connecticut Healthcare System. Dr. Garcia Sao was born in Mexico. Her father, Leonardo, was Mexican, and her mother, Eugenie, was Chinese. As you know, it's customary in Mexico to hyphenate the last name in homage to the heritage of the mother, giving her the importance she deserves. Interestingly, Leonardo and Eugenie met in Connecticut as visiting students. These two pieces of Dr. Garcia Sao's personal history perhaps foreshadowed her impact on women in medicine and the three decades she has devoted to making the VA Connecticut healthcare system and Yale outstanding centers for liver care, education, and research. On the international scale, however, she is an icon in the field. She needs no introduction and is known to all as Lupe. Like famous rock stars with no surname, she draws a crowd, often standing room only, and needs no introduction. Her magnetism is felt around the world and she's become a citizen of the world with collaborations and friendships that she has cultivated and enriched with the energy, wonder, and love of a young child. It is this wonder that sparked her scientific career. She first became interested in liver disease as a medical student after she read a booklet entitled The Jaundice Patient by Horacio Hinich. Her interest deepened as she worked in her final year of medical school on a randomized placebo-controlled trial of colchicine in the treatment of cirrhosis with an early mentor, Marcos Roykin. This hands-on patient-oriented research appealed to Lupe, and this paper was eventually published in the New England Journal of Medicine, the premier journal in medicine for which Lupe now serves as an associate editor. After residency and GI fellowship in Mexico, she accepted a fellowship at the West Haven VA and Yale in pursuit of broadening her clinical research experience. Although recruited initially to fellowship by Harold Kahn, he left for sabbatical shortly after her arrival and she was mentored by Roberto Grossman. This was the start of a productive and enduring relationship with Dr. Grossman and collaborators like Jaime Bosch, Norman Grace and Andrew Burroughs, great strides were made in clinical and proof of concept trials in portal hypertension. Lupe quickly established her own niche by designing and conducting the first studies that examined the effect of beta blockade on portal hypertension. Lupe's gifts are in asking the right clinical questions, designing studies that are feasible and critically appra appraising her own work and the work of others. In the process, her science has improved our understanding and in many instances changed our clinical practice in the management of portal hypertension, variceal hemorrhage, ascites, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, and hepatorenal syndrome. In addition, she has carefully clarified our understanding of the pathophysiology and natural history of cirrhosis in a way that informs clinical trial design and interpretation. In the realm of rare diseases, Lupe has made groundbreaking contributions to the understanding of hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. In the last several decades, she has developed the careers of a steady stream of trainees and junior faculty who have gone on to become leaders in hepatology. She has been a champion of women in medicine and has contributed to maintaining a strong pipeline of young investigators by developing the Emerging Liver Scholars Program during her tenure as ASLD president. For someone who has written over 300 papers, won awards from every international liver society, and served as the president of the AASLD at home in Connecticut, Lupe considers herself a VA doctor. Even in this realm, she's been a pioneer with uninterrupted funding for over 10 years, establishing VA Connecticut as one of four VA hepatitis C resource centers. These centers improved liver care throughout the VA and were the catalysts for a thriving national VA hepatology program. She has spearheaded efforts to improve healthcare delivery, including telehealth and telemedicine long before the pandemic. And she developed patient and provider education materials that are used in day-to-day -day practice across the VA and the country. Lupe is a world-renowned teacher. She has won innumerable teaching awards at Yale and all over the world. She's left an enduring legacy by establishing the Fundamentals of Liver Disease Program also during her tenure as ASLD president. You will always learn from Lupe, whether she's giving a lecture, precepting clinic, 
rounding or helping you with a challenging case. She brings the same clinical relevance and clarity of thought to her teaching. Her authenticity and generosity are evident always and in all aspects of her career as leader, investigator, collaborator, mentor, teacher, and doctor. These traits also make her a wonderful sister and friend. Lupe, the field of hepatology and each of us whose lives have been touched by you directly or indirectly celebrates you tonight 100 million percent. I know you have friends and family joining and we so wish we could celebrate you in person, but we hope you feel our pride and our love as we congratulate you on receiving American Liver Foundation's Distinguished Scientific Achievement Award. Uh, I need a moment to recover from that. I thank you so much, Tamar, for that great and humbling introduction. Um, first of all, I want to thank the American Liver Foundation for giving me this incredible award. Uh, from the time I was a young attending, and we're talking many centuries ago, the ALF always gave me an opportunity to support the liver community and to support patients with liver disease. I always say, and I always say this to our fellows and, and, and trainees, that first and foremost, I am a clinician. And at the end of the day, everything I have done in research or teaching has the objective of improving the care of patients with liver disease. It is from patients that I get the questions for research. And the most rewarding thing for me is to see when a patient gets better. It's very important to say um, although unfortunately I'm sitting here by myself in a room looking at my laptop, I'm not here alone. I stand or I, rather, I sit actually here in the company of so many people, including colleagues, fellows, students, residents, and friends from around the world. And you all know who you are, who have taught me not only about medicine or hepatology, but have taught me about life. I cannot thank you enough for always being there for me. Um, I have to thank institutions and people that made my career possible, like Tamar has highlighted and has supported me through thick and thin. Regarding the institutions, I have um, to thank the Instituto Nacional de la Nutrición in Mexico, where I did my internal medicine and GI training, uh, Yale University, that has been my home since 1990, uh, the NIH, who supported me with career development awards and grants, the ASLD, who gave me the honor of being the, their president in 2012, one of the best experiences of my life. And of course, I would like to especially thank the Veterans Administration, specifically the West Haven VA, that has given me incredible support, not only financial, but emotional and all kinds of support throughout my career. And our veterans, who are the most generous, selfless patients one can possibly have. Um, there are so many people I want to thank uh, on whose shoulders I stand. We never do this by ourselves. So I'm here because of so many people. Start with my mentors in Mexico, Tamara already mentioned, David Kersenovich, who sent letters to every hepatologist he knew across the US to see if anybody would accept me as a penniless fellow, research fellow. And then Harold Kahn for accepting me at Yale and at the VA. And of course, um, after my fellowship was Jim Boyer, who's founder of the ALF, who recruited me back to Yale. But from the time I arrived for the first time as a research fellow, my main mentor was Roberto Grossman, who through his foresight, brilliance and example shaped my career. Um, and I will be eternally grateful. But he not only shared his knowledge with me, but he was a generous, kind man. And he also shared his family with me. So thanks to Aida, Yvette, and Dan for being my surrogate family in the United States. And of course, I have to mention my incredible family in Mexico, my late parents who never batted an eye when I decided to move to the US knowing that I would probably never go back. My brothers, Leonardo and Ian, and my sister-in-law, Eunice, who took care of my parents while I was in the US. And of course, my nephew, Ian, who is my hope and inspiration, the love of my life. Thank you all for your support. I love you. Now, <clears throat> through the initial part of my career, there were only men. And, and 
don't get me wrong. I love you all. I have dear, dear men, friends and mentors, but there were very few women um, that I could connect with. It was sort of lonely there. Uh, and one of the first uh, female doctors that I became my friend is my friend Keta Barido, who as a female surgeon in Mexico has faced an uphill battle all her career, but has done it with integrity and courage. I have learned from her. I have also learned from women leaders in the United States like Terry Wright, who was also a recipient of this award and with whom I worked both at the ASLD and at the VA. And even from leaders outside the USA like Erika Vila, who since 2010 had the foresight of organizing a yearly meeting of women in hepatology. I thank you for being my role models and friends. Now, times have definitely changed. And I am now so pleased to be surrounded by so many incredible women like Tamar, who is my right hand. And I have really been inspired to see and collaborate with so many bright women at the Baveno meeting last week and now at the ASL Deliver meeting. I am proud to be in your company and I want to dedicate this award to all the women in hepatology. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Lupe. That was absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Uh, your remarks were just incredible. Uh, so moving on, as you heard from Lorraine earlier, ALF is concluding its 45th year. Something many people might not know is that ALF was created 45 years ago by AASLD. This organization of scientists and healthcare professionals were concerned with the rising incidence of liver disease and the lack of awareness among both the general public and the medical community, which prompted the creation of the American Liver Foundation in 1976. ALF's mission, programs and services complement the great work of ASLD. And for that, it is my honor to recognize ASLD's great leadership throughout the years. Ray, Dr. Chung, Please accept this acknowledgement on behalf of ASLD in appreciation and recognition for ASLD's 45 years of collaboration and partnership with ALF. It has been a pleasure working with you, and we look forward to creating an even stronger partnership in the years to come, all for the benefit of the liver community. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Dan and, and Lorraine and the entire ALF board. Uh, uh, before I, I go into uh, a few comments, I, I too want to uh, congratulate uh, Lupe uh, for such an, uh, such an extraordinary career and, and the recognition of, of all she's given to our community. That is the entire liver community, the ASLD community, the ALF community. Thank you, Lupe, for all you've done. Uh, I, I want to thank uh, the ALF uh, really for 45 years of partnership uh, in advancing the field of hepatology and building meaningful connections with healthcare providers, researchers, and, and, and mostly our patients. Uh, through these last 45 years, ALF has been the leading organization uh, supporting patients with chronic liver disease and their families and providing critical resources and support for that community. We appreciate and celebrate ALF's board and staff uh, and their contributions to their success over those years. ASLD is proud that our organization and our members were there at the beginning and were able to work side by side with you with very complimentary goals. Now, as liver disease has become even more widespread, our organization has grown and so too then has our commitment to our patients grown. Hence, our need to work together to educate our patients has never been greater. So we at ASLD are so pleased that we continue to be great partners with you at ALF as we work together to advance our shared mission goals. In an era of extraordinary diagnostic and th treatment progress, patients have never had a greater need to filter and process all this progress than they do now. So please know that our army of liver professionals stands ready to assist you and stand by you in the process of enlightening and empowering our patients. So on behalf of the over 6,000 members of ASLD, 
Thank you again for this touching recognition and congratulations on your 45th anniversary. Thank you so much, Dr. Chung, for your great work and dedication to the liver community. And we are so grateful for our partnership with AASLD and we look forward to continuing this partnership for decades to come, all for the benefit of patients. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, another leader of AASLD, Matt Duva. Matt, thank you for being with us. Thank you for the amazing leadership you are providing the liver community. And, and we all are seeing it uh, each, each day of, of this amazing liver uh, conference. Uh, did you wanna say a few words, Matt? I appreciate that, Lorraine, and um, appreciate the opportunity. I think Dr. Chung said it better than I can. So I will let him have the last word and thank you for your partnership. And we look forward to working together as well. Thank you so much, Matt. We, we sure appreciate you. And I know I speak for everyone on this call. Uh, also really wanted to acknowledge a, another partner, the AASLD Foundation. So grateful to, to Dr. Bruce Luxon and of course the amazing Julie Deal, the executive director of the foundation. Uh, again, uh, just a, a tremendous uh, organization doing unbelievable work as, as we all saw last night if, if we watched the awards presentation, which I was fortunate to do. Uh, truly extraordinary what the foundation is doing on behalf of, of the liver community and the research and clinical care community. So, so we would like to close tonight's very short program uh, by thanking all of you for your ongoing support of the American Liver Foundation and our partner organizations, AASLD and AASLD Foundation, and, and really the whole liver community. We are grateful to all of you. And we're going to leave this program with a short video from our generous 2021 gold sponsor, Abby. Thanks so much. Really appreciate all you do. Thanks to all of you. We hope you enjoy the rest of an amazing conference. Congratulations, Lupe. Congrats, Lupe. Congratulations, you're Lupe. <laughs> you're amazing. You're muted, Lupe, but we can see you talking. Erica, is it just the panelists now? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was muted. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, the ALF.